Hello friends. Now uh, after studying the goal of software testing, the software terms definition, an exhaustive and effective software testing. Let us study of software testing life cycle. So it is the same way as software development life cycle. The software development life cycle, the term is development. So, what are the process required for, to develop a product is listed in a software development life cycle. Where you have seen it started or it begins from the communication ends and the testing. Now, the testing, the software testing has picked up and the software testing life cycle has different phases but the product evolves the number of testing increments what it does in the phase one let us see let us study about the first phase is requirement analysis now this is a very far similar to xdlc that is software development life cycle where you initiate or communicate with your customer, identify your requirements, you form the requirements, you define what are the customer requirements, what are the developer requirements. The same way, it's the same thing. The tester goes through the client or a customer's requirement document with functional and non-functional details in order to identify the testable requirement. So in case of any confusion, the quality team may set up a meeting with clients and the stakeholders. But mainly, the tester itself or himself or herself cannot go and communicate. The product manager communicates, write in a paper, document all those decisions and give back to the tester. Once the quality assurance team is clear with the requirements that they want, what actually they want they will get the document of acceptance criteria now what are the activities done in a requirement the first thing is analyzing the system requirement specification preparing the requirement traceability matrix identifying the test technique and test types what other testing techniques and how will you do it what are the testing thing and how will you do it these two questions you need to answer prioritize you have to set the priority of the feature and focus on the testing of that feature analyzing the automation the tools which you're going to test on the features Identify the details about the testing environment. Make a test environment. So plan for the test environment. And what it will generate the deliverables or outcome of the requirement phase is requirement traceability matrix and automation report. Then you have a test planning. Test planning starts after the completion of requirement analysis for sure thing. Then what are the activities it's done? You prepare a test plan, prepare a test strategy, yes, of course. You estimate the test efforts which you're going to put up. Selecting the approach, what kind of technique you're going to use, that means plan and strategy. For this, what kind of resources you need to require, you require, and what are the roles and responsibility of your teams under the testing process, you need to identify. And what are the outcome? Test plan document test strategy document, testing approach, number of resource, the skill person and roles and responsibility along with the tool. Yes, then you have test case development. Now in this phase, the quality assurance team write test cases. They have also a test scripts for automation. Yes, for automation tool, you need to write some scripts. Yes, it's some kind of coding. Basically, you just put that coding in your test tool and you just execute it, it shows the output. So there's nothing to worry about on the test page. It's nothing to worry. You just when you are, when you start working on the tool, you will come to know. 
Now, what are the activities to be done in a test case development? That means you have to create a test case. The test case format is 829 that is defined by IEEE. The test cases has been created. The creation of test scripts is required identified by the tool. Verification of test cases and automation script case. The test cases and the test scripts goes hand in hand. Because by looking at the test case, you can easily identify how to code. Creation of test data in test testing environment. Yes. And outcome is the deliverable is the test cases, test script and test data. Don't panic with this word like what is scripting and all. You have heard VB script, Java script, what you do? You just code few lines to generate a function, to generate something to perform. The same way, nothing to worry or nothing to panic about. Then you have test environment setup. My God, there are the, the, uh, many faces which I think you have not heard before because the software testing process is just like different technique you have utilized. So next step is testing environment setup is it includes a setup or installation process of software and hardware which requires your testing application. Now, if I want to use my Windows, Windows 10 for testing my application, I have to install my Windows 10, my hardware, my hard disk. I have to define my hardware like hard disk, RAM, processor, which are included. So there should not be compatibility issue later. After setting up the required software and hardware, the installation of the build of the build is tested. This is about the build. That means the versions. I have released it in one first time, the second time I found some bugs are there. I have to remove it and I have to make a build, the patch. So that again I have to install for the installation process is required and you have to check for the data, test data. After the creation of test data, of course, the smoking testing. You will learn the type of smoking testing, regression testing later in the next chapter. Activities like what you have to do. As per the requirement and architecture document, the list of the requirements software and hardware is prepared, setting up the test environment, creation of the test data. And using the smoke testing. Actually, smoke testing is required when you use the hardware, different configuration and hardware till it burns, till the smoke comes out. You have to test. That is the philosophy behind the smoke testing. Don't panic. The smoke testing will study later. Now, outcome of this environment setup is test environment setup is ready. Test data is created and result of smoke testing. Then you have the last second is test execution. So that means we start with the text execution phases, which we have done in the test planning when we achieve the test planning test case. Now, those documents have to be tested in the text execution. So what are the activities? Execution of test cases, reporting of test results as the output of it, logging the defect. Yes, wherever my test cases failed, wherever I find the negative, I have to log my defects. I have to maintain a log book where I have to maintain what kind of defects, who found, when, where. So there is a defect or a bug report. Closure of the defect. When it is closed, who closed, what was built, how it was built. The entire setup or entire explanation has to be documented. So that means the outcome is text execution report updated test cases with results and bug report. Remember, your test cases in the end should be all passed, no negative. In case if it comes negative, you try hard to build up a patch to build or to patch. You report those test cases, you log those defects, ask the tester to this as a developer to resolve this again test it till it is completely resolved and prepare a bug report now in the last is test cycle closure 
That means in order to start the test cycle closure activity, the ex test execution phase should be completed. You cannot come and say, oh, I have not mentioned, I have forgot to test this. No, once it is completed, remember, watch your diagram very carefully, software testing life cycle. The arrows are coming down, they are not going upward. This means in case of any change, again you start from the beginning. Just don't jump off any stage and again get it done. No. So where was I? Yes, I was at the test close cycle closer. So it activity is armed to evaluate the test completion on the basis of test coverage. That will see the documentation of the project and analyzing the test result and test closure report. That means what is outcome? The report of the test closure. That means the test, who has done the test, what was done, what were the test plans, test strategy, test execution process, who has completed, if any bugs, who has resolved the entire thing, the report we generate. So in this way, we studied software 